Hello friends, my name is Robert. I am one of the moderators over on speedrun.com for a Super Mario crossover. I really love this game and I want to be able to share how I get to play it. Because unfortunately, as some of you may know, Flash is no longer a thing. It's been discontinued. You can no longer really play Flash games online anymore. However, there exists programs like this one, Blue Maximus Flashpoint, which basically emulate a Flash environment and it lets you play old Flash games. You can even watch old Flash animations and it's really convenient and really cool. So we're gonna talk about how to set that up real easy. Now, all this is for PC. I'm on Windows 10. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to follow along. So open up a browser, go over to bluemaxima.org slash, uh, uh, slash flashpoint. <laughs> and uh, you'll see this webpage. Go ahead and read over what this is. The whole thing is just a community driven effort. There's no companies behind this. It's all grassroots. It's all really cool. It's all free. Go over here to the downloads and um, you're going to want to choose either ultimate or infinity. Ultimate is 700 gigabytes. Infinity is 700 megabytes. So they're very different sizes. The ultimate contains, like I said, thousands and thousands of games already. So once you download this, you have thousands of games ready to play immediately. If you get the infinity one, it's an empty shell. It's not going to have any games. Instead, you're going to have to search for a game. And once you want to play it, you'll have to download individually. And that's fine. It's no big deal because it's really easy. The uh, program will do it all for you. So really, it's up to you what you want to do. If you have a slow internet connection or if you just don't have a super fast internet connection, I suggest you just get the Infinity one and download the specific games that you want. Like I said, it's real easy and it's no hassle. However, once you have a, once you made your choice and downloaded the installer, you're going to want to run the installer install flashpoint and this is what you're going to see once you run the program and you can immediately go up here to the search bar and type in super mario crossover and there it is there's the game uh over once you click it over here on the right side you'll be able to see some information about the game the version number being 3.1.21 that's the newest version and a nice little screenshot uh, what I like to do is right click on the game here, add to playlist, uh, and then you can add it to your favorites list. It's already on my favorites, that's why I don't see it. But once you have it uh, added to your favorites list, then you can just click here on favorites. That way you don't have to search for it every time. These are all games that I've already favorited. Once you're ready to play, you just click it and then you click the green play button. I'll give it a while to download and load, and then you'll be ready to go. There it is, exploding rabbit. And you can immediately start playing. Hit enter, new game, or actually you hit Z, start game, Mario, and go. It plays pretty much flawlessly. Um, however, there is one important note. After about 20, 30 minutes, the game will start to lag. That's just an issue with the program, with the Flash Player. It's not flawless, unfortunately. Uh, the lag may not bother you. You may not notice it, in which case, awesome. However, I do notice the lag after about 30 minutes. Uh, so what I have to do is, unfortunately, is close out the program and then restart it, and that'll eliminate the lag. Another pro tip that you wanna wanna do if you're planning on playing this game you know, competitively, or to speed run it, is you wanna go to O to the options over here, to general, over here where it says log frame rate, you wanna put that on off for the most part. That'll make the game run a lot smoother. Uh, you can already tell that the menus are smoother, the frames per second is increased, and everything is just better. And it does help with the lag situation, but it still will eventually lag on you after about 30 minutes. But like I said, just close it out and restart. And if that's all you wanna do, you are good to go. However, if you want to be cool, like me, <laughs> if you're an advanced user, um, I'm going to explain how you can use a controller. It's really easy. Uh, platformer games like this to speedrun are is not easy to play with the keyboard, at least not for me. So what I did is I downloaded a program called Joy to Key, and it does exactly what it sounds. It takes your joy... Uh, joystick and converts the input your buttons into keyboard inputs so what you're gonna want to do 
is in Mario Crossover, you want to go to Options, Buttons, and here you're going to want to map all your keys. I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to mess things up for me, but basically you're going to want to map like your left to like A, your right to D, you know, W, A, S, D, and then you want to map uh, jump to like L and whatever, attack to K, whatever letters you want. Once, uh, once you have those set up, you can then save your game, and then I'm gonna load my game. That way, it's gonna load those key binds for me. Once you have those buttons set up, you go over to Joy to Key, and you set those up over here. I want my button one on my controller to be mapped to the letter A. I want my button two to be mapped to the letter D, so on and so forth. It's a little tedious to set up, but once you do, you save the profile and you have to, never have to worry about it again. And once it is set up, now I can navigate the menus using the D-pad over here. I can hit the A button on my controller and it acts like the enter button. So now I can play Mario Crossover with a freaking controller and it makes it a lot funner and a lot easier to speedrun. So if you're interested in playing this game competitively or to speedrun it, or even if you just want to have a funner time, I highly suggest you, you get this kind of setup. A nice little simple USB controller. Joy to Key is free. Flashpoint is free. It takes a little bit of work to set it up, but it's not that big a deal. If you guys have any questions on setting it up, go ahead and uh, make a post on speedrun.com or in the Discord or leave a comment in this YouTube video and I'll get back to you and I'll be able to help you guys out. But hopefully you guys found this video useful. Hopefully you guys can start playing this game, which is awesome and deserves more attention. But um, anyway, guys, have a fantastic evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.